Yeah, hello everybody, this is Brother Kingsley. I want to talk about the cause of what following Jesus Christ. Amen. In this life that we are living, you need to sacrifice your life to gain something. Amen. Christ came work and sacrificed his life to the world to give us what? Eternal life. He went to the cross in return for us to do what? To pick up our own cross. Okay? So let's start with the word of God. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 14 verse 26, just Christ said, If anyone comes to me, and does not hate his own father and his mother and his wife and his children and his brother and his sisters and yes even his own life he cannot be my disciple you see for whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple it sounds harsh but guess what is the truth you see when the word of god came into my life guess what there are no problems in my household amen you know why because the movies that i used to go and watch i don't go with my kids anymore i don't go with my wife the things i used to do before i don't do them anymore the worldly things is gone you see so the word of god has brings sword in my own family amen a good sword because my life guess what get transformed you see so when you come to christ today there will be a change in your life if there's no change in your life if you are not willing to sacrifice your life to follow Jesus Christ, you will lose it. That's what of God is telling me and you today, okay? So the same Luke chapter 9, verse 23, Jesus Christ said, If anyone could come after me, let him deny himself and pick up his own cross daily. Follow me. For whoever will save his own life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For whoever, for what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and do what to forfeit? himself to forfeit his soul you see so when you come to kingdom of god guess what there's a lot of losing amen you need to lose your flesh what your flesh wants you to do at the time that must go you pick up your cross every single day daily picking up your cross means you remember when christ picked up the cross he went to the cross guess what he died he pick up your cross take your body every single day and crucify them at the cross of jesus christ amen that is the word of god is telling me and you today to do if you are not willing to do that you are looking back in your past glory saying guess what you are not worthy to be called a child of god you see there's a word the the um uh, the chinese people say that always make me laugh when i remember it if you say that you're a leader and nobody's following you guess what you're only taking a walk you see if you are not following christ today you are only the world taking a walk and a lot of people have taken different kind of work like the johnny walker walk you know what i'm talking about you see so that's why you need to come to your senses today if you are not willing to sacrifice your life you are not willing to sacrifice your drinking habit the relationship you have with drinks with smoking with drugs with sex addiction with, with all these things if you are not willing to let go today, right now, you are not worthy to be called a child of God. You see? And that is why the Bible tells me and you to do what? We must crucify our sinful desires. You see? And that is why I'm here to encourage you. So there's no wonder in the same book of Luke chapter 9 verse 15, uh, 58, just Christ said, Forces have holes and the best of the air have nails, but the Son of Man have nowhere to lay his head. You see? Why did he say that? no attachment amen no guarantee for you even if you come today as a believer it's no guarantee for you that you're going to get a house because when christ lived he didn't have a house he didn't own anything it was an emission and that the same way if you want to be a disciple of jesus christ today guess what you must let go of every of your desire anything that you think right now is more important to you that man that you are staying with right now if it's not your husband you must let go that woman that you are sleeping with if it's not your wife you must let go you see so you must let go something it must cost you that's why i say is the price right absolutely yes the price is right listen anything is going to cause you to make it to the kingdom of god take it take that offer jesus christ given to you today you see because there was a man that also come to jesus christ said just christ said to him follow me you know when jesus christ made peter made all these apostles they all follow him 
you see and that is why i'm here today to, to tell you today to follow jesus christ you are not following an organization you are not following a church you are following what the savior who is going to save you you see sometimes these i don't even know what christian means anymore people have twisted it most christians are drug addict most christians they call themselves are drinking alcohol most christians these days what they don't even pay their tithe most christians these days i don't even know what it means anymore to even call yourself a christian because most christians are the one doing the they're even doing the worst thing you see i don't even know again i swear to call yourself a believer because many people believe in drinking many people believe in different things many people have different spirit do you understand what i mean but if you call yourself today a follower of Jesus Christ, yes, that's who you are. That means you trust in Him, you, are, you believe in Him, and you are following Him. You follow in His footsteps. You see? You follow in the right path to that leads to water, to righteousness. And that is why I'm here this morning, in this abyssal call in the morning, to give you that message. Amen? What do you believe in? You have to believe in Christ. You see? There was another man that came over to him and said, let me go and bury my father first. Jesus Christ said, no, let the dead bury themselves. You see, if you don't bury your sinful desire today, don't cast it as death. Don't cast it. Everything that you are doing today, don't give God the glory. If you don't cast it as death, you are doing what? Giving excuses. You see? And that is why many Christians are lagging behind because they're not willing to let go. They're drinking, they're smoking a bit their pornography addiction all these things all these activities do you know one thing i swear in this society that that kind of sometimes makes me ask myself why is it that every time there's a problem in the society have to do with sex you have to do with alcohol you have to do with smoking you have to do with additions if you remove all these additions out of the way guess what we will have a perfect society you see those are the things that is not what entitle us and that is why many people are not are not are not followers of god today you see and that is why i'm here to do what to tell you stop giving excuses you must let go because the price is what is right because that kingdom of god he cannot buy it that's why he said what shall he profit a man to gain the whole world and fulfill what he saw you see another one came to jesus christ as well said to him lord i will follow you but first let me say farewell to my family do you know why jesus christ tell them no all these three people have different kind of excuses they are dissenting excuses now i say let me go and bury my father jesus christ said no the other one said let me go and tell and tell my family because just christ know once you go and tell your family you want to serve god guess what they're gonna disencourage you it's still happening today when i take my decision i didn't tell anybody i took it down i tell my wife this is my decision I know I, I'm gonna have flashback. I'm gonna have people who are gonna persecute me because they persecute Jesus Christ. They have to persecute me. I'm not gonna be moon to that. Guess what? I make up my mind. You see, Jesus Christ said what? When somebody do what? Pran, he shouldn't look back because if you look back, you are not fit for the kingdom of God. And that is the message today. No looking back. Amen. The price is right. No looking back as a child of God. Why do you wanna look back? That's what I mean. You move forward. Because when you pray, you don't look back. Because when you pray, look back, the line, your prayer won't go in straight line anymore. You'll be going sideways. And that's why too many people are going sideways with their work with God today. They are not bearing witness for Jesus Christ. Because what? They are not willing to let go. They are not willing to let go of their past. You see? And that's a shame. You know what I mean? So we are today, as a student of the living God, we are encouraged to work to serve God in truth and in spirit. Amen? You must let go of every of your past. You must let go of your anger issues. You must let go of your unforgiving spirit. You must let go of your own self-control. You must let go of yourself. Jesus Christ make it plain and to me and to you. So what? Deny yourself. Meanwhile, remove your selfish ambitions. Remove me, 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 me. Put that behind. And then we'll pick up your cross. He said, pick up your cross and do what? Follow me. Amen? And I hope you pick up that cross of Jesus Christ today and follow him. Because without Jesus Christ, he cannot have a life. Amen? You see? He said he came not to do one, to bring peace into the family. He came to bring problem between father-in-law, mother-in-law, 
father and son, daughter and daughter. Do you know why? Because every time you bring the word of God, it shines light in the darkness in your family. And they will disagree with you. You see? But guess what? You need to move forward. Amen? I'm not looking. Listen, I'm not paying attention to what people think about me. I think about what God thinks about me. The, the key point here is this. Are you doing the will of God? If you are doing the will of God, march forward. Amen? Because the Bible has told you to fix our eyes on Jesus Christ, who is the author and finisher of our faith. Amen? And I hope this message is what is loud and clear. Amen? The message key point here is do what? Deny yourself because the price is what? It's right. And that, that price is what? In the kingdom of God. And while you are silly me, you have the peace of mind. You have, you have contentment. You have joy. Amen? You have the Holy Spirit that nobody can buy it except those who believe God and ask for it. Not, not by list, but from the heart you will receive it. Amen? And I pray that you receive that gift of the Holy Spirit so that you can work out your salvation with what fear and trembling. Amen? Remember, blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen? God bless you. Bye.